Hello and welcome to English Learning. In today's video, let us learn something very interesting. So, without wasting much time, let's begin. It was summer holidays and all schools were closed. Students were excited to go on a vacation with their families. Amy was also excited about the same. Her father was in army and had recently returned home. As usual, Amy's family decided to visit some exotic places like Hawaii or Mexico, but Amy insisted to go to amusement park California. After a lot of discussion, they decided to visit amusement park. Next day, Amy went to visit amusement park and had a great time. One week passed and school reopened. As it was the first day at school after the summer vacations, Miss Mary, who was the class teacher of Amy, asked the students to write how they spent their summer vacations in their notebooks. The students wrote about their summer holidays. Miss Mary called each student at the front and asked them to read whatever they wrote. Some students talked about visiting their granny's place while some talked about visiting some exotic locations. It was Amy's turn. She shared her experience of visiting an amusement park with her family. It was my 14th birthday and my father also came on holidays. I was very very happy and very very excited to go to amusement park because it was my first time. I went with my family to the amusement park. That day we woke up very very early in the morning and I was feeling very sleepy because I could not sleep at night because I was very very excited to go to amusement park. We reached amusement park at 10 am. We bought the tickets and entered inside the park. The park was very very big and there were lots and lots of... Stop saying very Emmy. Miss Mary interrupted. I think you all should work on your vocabulary. What is vocabulary, miss? Miss, words don't come to mind when I want to say something in English, the students inquired. So, we see that the students were basically struggling to communicate, to express their thoughts, ideas and opinions. In our daily life, we also face this kind of situation where we want to speak, communicate our ideas and thoughts but we cannot simply because words don't come to mind when we try to say something. Do you agree? And why do you think it happens? It's because of lack of vocabulary. Come, let's learn some new words which we can use instead of saying very all the time. So here are some words which you can use in place of very. Very interesting fascinating, very honest, straightforward, very poor, destitute, very rich, well off, very scared, petrified, very intelligent, brilliant, very angry, enraged, very big, enormous, very crowded, cramped, very hot, scorching, very careful, Cautious, very cheap, stingy, very clean, spotless, very cold, freezing, very colorful, vibrant, very competitive, cutthroat, very complete, comprehensive, very confused, perplexed, very creative, innovative, very dangerous, perilous, very short, brief very weak, frail, very open, transparent, very cute, adorable, very afraid, fearful, very accurate, exact, very bad, awful, very beautiful, gorgeous, very boring, dull, very bright, luminous, very busy, swamped, very calm, serene, very dear, cherished, very deep, profound, very depressed, despondent, very detailed, 
meticulous, very excited, thrilled, very fast, quick, very funny, hilarious, very happy, ecstatic, very hungry, starving, very large, huge, very expensive, exorbitant, very good, exceptional. So, with this we have come to the end of the video. I hope you liked the video. If you did then please do like, share and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.